Antenna with defense of the Hamadine organization against the Mullah of Iran, the enemy of the U.S. administration and President Donald Trump. The country declared the policy appears to be in contradiction with the U.S. administration policy towards Iran and some Middle East issues, what makes the administration of the U.S. president silent on the position of the open country regime, Iran. Qatar's foreign minister in one week criticized the U.S. decision to punish countries that take Iranian oil exports, refuse to classify Hezbollah as a terrorist organization, and still sees the Mullah as a political and economic partner on his side. The goal of the wreckage Doha has always been linked to the complexity of a side of their desire for expansion, which they have not only been able to revive, and it's clear from their policy that there is a willingness to pay any price to achieve it. The silence of the American administration has no explanation and has been won by major countries such as China, Russia and allied countries such as Germany and France and Britain have been criticized by the US president but Qatar is either not important, the attention is paid to its positions or to the regional center for the intelligence of the major countries to manage their policies in the region. Therefore, we find Qatar gathering a different conduction regionally and internationally. Its validity is flattered with the jihadist and revolutionary flags, and its terrority, the terrorist imperialist, Zionists and nationalists are walking, and through their trumpets, all their conduction are mackered. While their Arab neighbors are hostile, undermining their stability and demoting the world against them, the terrorists inflation that they get to chap and undermining regional security. But history has told us that big countries deployed and that not reward small nations, while geography teaches us small sides do not grow and the traumas are always eradicated.